Welcome back everybody, my name is Jim. Thank you for joining me again on the RV Concierge channel. Tonight we're gonna to do a review of a 2020 Renegade Verona LE 38 LDG. This is a pre-owned. But before we get started, let's say hello to Abby. Hi everyone, thanks for watching. Wow, look at that sky. Abby, as always, thanks for helping out with the camera. Of course, wow, my it pleasure. Is beautiful today. I know, the day is beautiful. Let's just take a quick look. It is gorgeous. Oh, wow. Loving it. Look at that sky. It's amazing. Very pretty. Yep. All right. <laughs> Let's get started. So I sold this new and we just got it back on trade. I'm super stoked about this. This thing is in probably just as good condition as when I, when I sold it. Uh, so the Renegade Verona is built on the Freightliner M2 chassis. It's the 106 cab, 106 inches from the bumper to the back of the cab. And this one has the 8.9 liter Cummins. This guy has 1150 torque and they paired up to the Allison 3200 truck transmission can tow 20,000 pounds. Ooh. It's a beast. Wow. So let's do tire size, cargo capacity. We'll do a loop of the outside. We'll jump on the inside. All right. All right. So this one has the Bridgestone tires and they are uh, 295, 75 R22.5 on some really nice uh, AccuRide alloy, aluminum alloy wheels. All right. Cargo capacity. Cargo capacity on this coach is 5,833 pounds. Not bad. Yeah. That's pretty good. I think so. Beautiful paint job. I'm loving their paint jobs. This blue is kind of like a suede blue. Mm -hmm. It's a really pretty blue. It is pretty. And silver and black. Very nice. Um, does have the Gerard integrated rooftop awning. You got slide toppers on each of the three slides. This one does have the outside entertainment that's locked, but there's a television and a radio in there. Um, let's go through the compartments. These are really nice compartments, carpeted. They're steel, double latched, double hinged with a strut and an LED light, very nice. They make their own compartment doors. I really like these. Three years old and they still, well, what is it, 2020? Two years old and they still close like a car door. Next compartment, that one has a 110 outlet on a GFI circuit and an LED light. Very nice. I like These it. are also power locking baggage doors, so you can just lock them and unlock them. Oh, that's the, cool. For the key fob. I'm digging that. This one has the Aqua Hot. So they put the Aqua Hot 450D in this, which is going to take care of your heat and your hot water, as well as an engine preheat loop. So that's on demand hot water. Endless hot showers. You got it. You got it. Looks like there's That's a, the a bottle of the uh, antifreeze in there too. That's a special antifreeze. When you have lots of kids, you need endless hot showers. That's true. And, and big tanks like this. Uh, keyless entry on the door. They do give you a 110 outlet here on a GFI circuit as well. So that's two outlets on this side. Yeah, that's nice. You got some nice docking lights there. This one does go under the frame rail a little bit. That's your travel bars. And this one does have central back. That's all the, the tools for the central back. That goes under pretty far. Wow. It does. There's an LED light in there as well. And again, closes like a car door two years later. I really like these compartments. Oh, they left behind their blocks. All right, so you got uh, the central vac right there. There's another 110 outlet in there. Now this also has a hookup out here. So you can hook the hose to that and vacuum out the basement as well. This one does have a nice stone guard. Keep your uh, rig from kicking up rocks onto your uh, tow vehicle. See it down there? You got a 20,000 pound hitch right here. That one does have the seven pin connector. It also has a Voyage data feed for a second camera. So if you wanted a camera on the truck, which you already have, you can switch back and forth with that and your trailer camera. Full fiberglass rear cap. It is two sections. You have a top section and from here down is a separate section. So if you were to take a hit in the bumper, you're not replacing that whole cap, just the, the bottom bumper section. Generator exhaust comes out the back. I love that. You don't have to worry about the exhaust coming out underneath of a slide out. 
All right, two slides on this side, one slide on the other side. You have your bed slide and your living room slide. They all have toppers, like I said, and these are uh, fiberglass roofs. Um, this is the electrical bay. You got a shore power cord on a power reel with like the auto that. transfer switch. Auto transfer switch does have a surge guard in it. Um, and there's also a 110 outlet on the GFSI circuit on that. So there's like three of them, four of them outside. Yep, I think I've got four so far. Yep. There is your 8 kW quiet diesel generator. That's more than enough to run everything in this coach. Love that. This paint is still in really good shape. Wet bay right here. You have full house filtration, your black and gray dumps, your sewer flush, park cable, water diverter. This does have the power hose reel. They give you a space to store your sewer tube. You got a low point drain and an outside spigot. 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 That's a weird word, isn't it? <laughs> uh, waste tanks are right here. Two 50 gallon waste tanks. I love that it has two, I'm sorry, they're 75 gallon waste tanks. Two 75 gallon waste tanks. And under the bed, you have 150 gallons of fresh water. So that's a waste tank as well. Then you have a compartment right here that houses your inverter and you got your air compressor hose in there and the next compartment now this one is upgraded with the lithium batteries great feature you got an air compressor in there that's going to give you 18.7 cubic foot per minute and 120 psi and then you got your truck batteries in the front there so this one also has solar so it's got the lithium and the solar as well as the generator this coach is going to be really good suited to be off grid for long periods of time. Those lithium batteries are really going to stretch out the amount of time uh, between generator runs or having to charge the batteries. This does have twin 50 gallon fuel tanks. They are connected by an Equiflow tube. Um, the ignition does need to be on for that. So what I recommend when you're filling the fuel tanks, just go to the satellite pumps at the truck stops and you can fill both sides at the same time. 30 gallons a minute as opposed to five gallons a minute on a regular pump. You'll be done in five minutes. Nice, nice to do that. You got DEF fluid right there or diesel exhaust fluid. Engine block heater right there. And you do have power heated mirrors up on the top, the bottom blind spot mirrors, and this is prepped for a CB. You got your side view camera right there. And one thing they're doing differently on the Verona LE is they're giving this nice fender skirt they don't fill them in on, well, that's a DynaQuest that has it. <laughs> but, but the Verona and the Valencia do not have the fender fill skirts. Um, so that's a really nice look. It's a higher end look. So Abby, that's the outside of this beautiful coach. Let's go take a look at the inside. Let's do it. All right, Abby, come on inside. I have the slides closed. Show them how you can get to the bathroom, refrigerator, and the bedroom with the slide outs closed. Well, I'm right. right here. I don't think I'm going to have any troubles, Jimmy. Nope. I'm the refrigerator you have 100% access to. No problem there. Yep. I got the door fully open. Oh, yeah. Access to the bedroom for sure. And no problem at the bathroom. And howdy. All right. Well, let's open it up and show them the rest. Let's do it. Let's start at the cab and we'll work our way back. All right. So uh, Freightliner cab. This is the M2 cab. It does have tilt and telescope wheel. You have power mirrors. Um, this one does have the nice Garmin RV GPS, so you can put your height, weight, and propane. But this one doesn't have propane. It'll route you around any restrictions. Push button shifter. All your HVAC controls are right there. This does have an engine brake height right here. It's dual stage, high and low. And then you can switch back and forth between truck and trailer camera. This one does have the built-in tire pressure monitoring system. Now, in the LE, they do not offer a bunk over the cab, so you're only ever going to have cabinetry up here. The front seats are air ride seats. They do swivel around and become part of the living space. That's they nice. are heated. Look at this. This has um, the heat. It also has raise and lower for the air ride. And then you have low, medium, and high lumbar air. That's nice. Yeah, very nice. And they both, like I said, they swivel around, become part of the living space. All of your cabinetry that has lift up doors are going to have these really nice tension hinges and the really and the hidden hinges there. You got your solar controller, your leveling jacks, and your inverter up here, as well as your digital antenna. And then you have a couple more storage compartments. There's an outlet in there with an adjustable shelf. And then behind the TV over here, you have all of your 12-volt breakers and then your awning controller right there. Now, you can put the awning out here, but you can also do it through a multiplex, and they give you a remote for that That's as well. a big TV. Huge. Ooh. Watch the watch the ottoman. Huge TV. I love that TV. Samsung with the soundbar mounted to it. 
you have a nice little compartment below there. Now that does have a strap, so you can pull that down and swivel that TV from side to side to get a better view. Swivel it just a little bit. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna leave that in there. <laughs> all right, all of your AV stuff is behind this glass door. Over here you have some more shelves, and right there are all your 110 breakers. How cute now, is this woodwork? It's adorable. Now what I really like in here, so I left their pretzel in here. Um, what Lunch. I really like in here is that they have two electrical boxes. One is going to tell you what works off of shore power and generator only. And then the other one is going to tell you what will work off of the inverter. So there is no guessing with that. If you can't remember what works off the inverter, just look at the bottom breaker box. All right, everybody, here's where I'm going to ask you for some help. If you are not already working with a salesperson at my dealership, please ask for me because it helps support this channel can bring you more videos if you're buying coaches from me. Really nice tri-fold sleeper sofa here and they give you this really cool storage ottoman. So if you want to maintain a sleeping spot but you want to put your feet up, you don't have to get the recliners. You can just get the ottoman and then you can store stuff in it. Mm -hmm. Very nice. I like it. Kitchen over here, very functional kitchen. Um, you got a couple, Huge countertop, wow. Yeah, big countertop, lots I of covers on everything too. So oh, let me get up in there. Space. You got a couple storage compartments right there. Look at the lighting in there. Yep, slide fascia and floor lighting. You got a single basin st sink with the pull-out sprayer faucet. And then over here you have induction cooktop. Two burners of that induction cooktop. And left the little rubber mats on there. I and, love uh, the backsplash. That really is really nice, nice. Ledger tile backsplash. I'm going to have that tile. in the bathroom as well. I really like that. Over here you got some more storage. Hmm. They should have cut that out and put a place for a wastebasket. I basket. agree. And you got five nice drawers here. Take a look at the side. Where are you going to put one without it? Right? Yeah, you're going to have to stick it somewhere over there. I would put it right against the wall over there. That's Let me a see. That's spot for it. Right eh. there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're, you have soft closed drawers, but these are also dovetail drawers. I'm really digging that. Yep. So five of those, really big, really nice. Yeah. Huge residential refrigerator, and they do put the latches on the refrigerator and the freezer, and then they pair that residential refrigerator with a residential gray convection microwave. Wow! Can you get a casserole in there? I think so, maybe two. Yeah. Very nice. Yep. I love the slide facial light. It's really pretty. Over here, they didn't forget the pantry. Pantry's over here. You got two slide out pantries right here. Very cool. Very nice. And they're really big. Look how deep they are. Wow. Yeah, that's nice shelves on them and they have latches so they're not just going to come flying out now this one does not have the booth dinette this is actually the hershey rv show unit from two years ago oh, wow. 2019 i was there um you were there this <laughs> unit was there i'm there every year <laughs> so they like to they like to debut stuff at the hershey rv show so we don't typically put the freestanding dinette in a coach we always do the booth dinette because it can sit more people comfortably and it makes a sleeper now i don't hate this though this thing has a ton of storage on it, and you can use it as a desk. You can actually, there's two fixed chairs, and then there's two folding chairs. Tons of outlets. You got outlets on either side. Nice light fixture, I like that. And look at all these cabinets over top of the um, dining table and the sofa. You got yeah. eight of these. Tons of storage space. Really nice high gloss wood. Beautiful. Very pretty. Mm -hmm. Very Polished classy. Polished porcelain tile floor. Get a shot of this floor. I'm really, I really like the floor. I can do my makeup in the reflection of that floor. Yeah, how about it? It's really shiny. <laughs> All right, moving on back, we've got the washer and dryer right here in the hallway. Love the hardware that they're using on this. One of my favorite things about Renegades, they put the washer and dryer on their own shelves. So if you have to take one out, you don't have to take the other one out to do that. I really like that. What's behind you, Jimmy? That is the Firefly Multiplex system. So cool. cool thing about the Firefly Multiplex system is it does have a mobile app called Vega Touch Mirror. You can operate everything from your mobile device. Look at this radius corner too. That's so yeah, cool. I love it when they do like that. The corner, I just so. think it's classy. You got a pocket door here. Mm-hmm. Pocket door here. And a pocket door there. We like We pocket. like <laughs> We do. No it's swinging doors way. coming out into the right. into the space. So it's it, it holds them. And it, it's it, easy. It's just They're just easy. Very convenient. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You got the shower and the toilet on this side. This does have a push button flush macerating toilet. That's a porcelain toilet with a resin lid. That's as close to residential as you're getting. Right. Um, there is some storage above that. It's got a nice fan. 
corner radius shower. Let me get in here so I can show people the space. Oh, come on in. Come come on in. in. Yeah, a little bit of good clean fun. Oh, Jimmy. <laughs> we fit. Yeah, we could do this. <laughs> and nobody's getting cold because the shower's right here. Perfect. Glass surround. I'm digging that. They even give you a towel bar and a toilet paper holder. Come on out, Abby. Someone's speed racing outside. I heard them. Big countertop space in here, too. I love that. And I love this backsplash. And they give you a hand towel holder. And you even have a nice medicine cabinet there. Mm -hmm. I love how fixtures. big that mirror is. That mirror's huge. Yeah, huge. You got some space right there and there. And some under here. And three nice cl soft closed drawers in here. That one kind of slammed, but you got an outlet there, too. Very neat. Very nice. Coming on into the master bedroom. King bed. You know, this is a modified king. It's not a full king, but I think it's like literally two inches shy width and four inches shy on the length of a king. Um, ceiling fan, gotta like that. Lots of storage over the master, and I'm loving this bedding. This is it's pretty. Really pretty. That's one of the chairs. I think the other one is in the in the a little uh, nightstand with a. Yep, you got nightstands okay. with USBs and one tens on either side. Multiplex switches up there with some reading lights and windows on the bed slide for cross ventilation. I'm a big fan of that. The, the egress window even opens up over here. Look at this. You can you can prop that up. So if you want even more oh, cross like ventilation, that. you can just pop that out like that. Mm -hmm. But that is your egress window. Are these day night shades? They are day night shades throughout. Two wardrobes. You got one on this side with a removable panel so you can hang your choir robe or your trench coat. <laughs> There's the other chair. I guess they wouldn't both fit in there. And then you got a wardrobe on this side too with auto lights. Six drawers total in there. Nice dovetail, soft closed drawers. Little compartment here. There is a safe in there. Oh, cool. uh, customer installed that. Um, and it's a perfect location right there back in the bedroom. So if you want to store your valuables or even your uh, safety device. Um, all your audio visuals right there behind the glass door and under the bed is your 150 gallons of fresh water Very I love nice. that they're putting mirror on this back wall yep. too. It makes it feel much much larger in here All right, Abby. Well, that is it. Let's give them a once through and we will wrap this up. All right. Check her out guys She's pretty this one is still available folks Still available that is a 2020 Renegade Verona LE 38 LDG very low mileage on this unit. It's still available. If you'd like to know more, you can text, call, or email me. Information is right there. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Please stay tuned for more. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Please subscribe.